Good morning, Internet, and welcome to an Oxygen Not Included Tech Tip video for Spacefarer modules. I got a request to go over some different designs, so I thought we'd run through a few and show you some of the pluses and minuses. So we'll start here first with the big boy. As you can see, we have room here for four ladder beds. We also have four mess tables, food storage, device storage. Now, one thing is I only have three Atmosuit docks. And so that's one where you kind of got to figure out whether you want to use the gas vent for getting rid of carbon dioxide, or if you want to sacrifice this aeropot and you'll end up with some carbon dioxide on the bottom. So what I mean by that is if we put in, well, before I do that, with this aeropot, you get a great haul bonus, which is great. Great haul is plus six. You don't need the bathroom bonus. But with only three suit docks, you know, work on your schedule to make sure one dupe is sleeping. So then if you put in the four suit dock, let's leave that empty. You then need to put in some sort of filtration. And typically people do a mini gas pump. And then you can run it through a gas element. Sorry for that to go away. Gas element sensor. And then have it go into a vent. So oxygen you can dump back into here. And then carbon dioxide you can vent out. So you can just take your carbon dioxide out the side of the map. And so if you detect oxygen, I mean, this isn't the best system, but this will suck up some of your nastier gases. Oh, it's over pressure. Yeah, so stuff to think about. The downside to trying to fit four dupes in a module is space is at an absolute premium. Okay, we'll turn that off. So you got to come up with some way of getting rid of carbon dioxide, whether it's a vent or take out your rocket control station when you land. And then you can put the vent back here on the floor. And then you just got to rebuild the rocket control to leave. All that works. So to get oxygen into here, I'm using a gas pipe, and you'll see this a bunch, into a gas intake. That gas intake leads into a gas cargo, and then you use the natural filtering. Oh, wrong rocket. There we go. That one. And then you can use the output, which allows you to filter. So I'll only suck oxygen in out of there. Comes in, fills up my suit docks. As I said, having the pump in here breaks this. So I normally don't do the pump. I don't think it's necessary. I think when you land, deconstruct that. Put a vent in. And leave the air pot with the plant. Ooh, plant. So as soon as you do that, boom, great haul bonus plus six. Super nice. So yes, you can fit in four dupes. The downsides to four dupes, obviously, you've got to store a lot of oxygen. You want your tank to be full before you leave. The dupes will suck your tank empty fast and radiation is also a concern you see you've got no protection from the outside so max radiation will be coming in but we got food storage for water just a big old spaghetti a pipe that's plenty of water for four dupes for a long time so there you go we're fitting in four dupes we've got great hull bonus we've got party line you just got to figure out whether or not you want to deconstruct the rocket control station. Obviously, this is more for a landing type situation, not a living in and flying around. So if we go down here to three dupes, here we go, three dupes. So here's a 
slightly simplified setup. We've got a little bit of radiation protection with these plastic tiles. So it helps block a bit. These double tiles block a bit. We've got our three soup docks. We've got plenty of room for storage. We can put a storage there and a storage there. Storage there. You can also replace that one with a party line phone. So you get a bit of a morale bonus. There you go. Just make sure my dupes can get here. If I deconstruct that, we'll have a dupe come in. Room bonus, we've got barracks. Only a mess hall because we don't have enough room. Washroom, and as you can see, the dupes just hop up and around. Rocket control station. Similar idea, I use a vent on the floor. The vent on the floor will eat up gas. So if I toss in some carbon dioxide gas, which so let's just do as that gas floats around the vent. The vent then eats the carbon dioxide. Another way you can do this is if you fill these up with oxalite. The problem with oxalite is oxalite can really overpressurize. So your oxalite will overpressurize each time carbon dioxide goes underneath it and will keep pumping out oxygen. This limits to two and occasionally you go over a little bit, but it only overpressurizes if there's gas that it can eat. Once it's gotten rid of the carbon dioxide, it just pressurizes and is done. So let's put that. No, I don't want to be in debug. I want my dupe to do the work. So we'll put that back. So we got food storage, power, same idea on the gas. We are coming into a gas intake and we have a gas output filtering only oxygen. So if anything else gets into your tank, this will filter it and you only get oxygen into your rocket and into your suit docks. Power-wise, we got the power output coming in over here, and we're running off of space solar panels. Water-wise, same thing, bunch of spaghetti. This also helps regulate the temperature. So you use regular liquid pipes, and you pump in as cold water as you can, and that helps keep your rocket cold. So that handles three dupes. If we now come over to here, this is a setup. I've was really happy with in my last playthrough. So this is for two dupes. See, we've got the two rocket beds, but we've also got lots of protection. We have plastic tiles up here blocking radiation. Room bonuses, we've got the great hall, the washroom, and the barracks. We got buddy buds for some nice floral scent. Two suit docks, all these designs could probably, you know, deal with some tweaking depending on what your requirements are. But as you can see, I've got my little gas bin down here to eat carbon dioxide. My gas is going out through intake fitting and coming back through the output to filter out oxygen. And this is obviously a rocket that's been around for my last playthrough. And as you can see, we're only just a bit over 2000 uh, grams. We got the party line phone, rocket control station. This is just a great flying around. Come down here. Here's a single rocket or a single dupe. This one had my telescope. Very similar idea. We got the plastic blocking. Dupes are protected in the middle. Still got the great hall bonus because I got the party line phone down here. Just one mess table. And this worked out great for one dupe out flying around. We got storage over here for Atlas suit docks or whatever else you want. And now for the comfy bed version. Basically all I did was you move the door over and this could be a telescope. This could be whatever you want over here. I was using this for my mining rocket. So one variation I do for the mining rocket is this pipe. So if you're out in space and you are mining, this one was hitting the glimmering asteroid, which gets you carbon dioxide. So to prevent myself from filling up my gas tank with carbon dioxide, this filters out the carbon dioxide and it just dumps it out into space. 
less manual generators because when they're parked in space, they don't generate a whole lot of power. And my mining rocket, which is somewhere over here, uh, no solar panels and no battery. So in order to fit the liquid tank, gas tank, and cargo bay, and that artifact, no battery on the outside, no solar panels on the outside. You see my oxygen completely full because I dumped everything else. So because there's no battery, no solar panel, I have manual generator and a battery. And that worked out great. Heat's probably a little warm in here. That's fine. So there you go. That is a single with the super comfy bed gets the bedroom bonus. We've got the single with metal sculpture and telescope. One way of increasing the decor is if you go into furniture and grab the pixel packs. It's the pixel packs. Yeah, you get a huge decor bonus from pixel packs. And you can stack them in there. And so with that, big decor bonus. And then you just gotta suppress the notifications so that you don't uh, get those annoying warnings. So if you wanna increase the decor, you can do that. You can also do the carpeted tiles as opposed to mesh tiles. I prefer mesh tiles just for letting the gas flow through nice and easy. So, single awesome bed, single single bed. We've got the dual ladder bed. And, you know, don't have the decor bonus. Then we come down to the quad bed. And the triple bed. I'll put the save file in the description. And then the last thing I'll show you is one of these. This one. So this is a single bed electrolyzer. So we are taking water into here and pumping out oxygen. Same idea, we're using gas output fittings to filter out hydrogen to feed the hydrogen generator and then oxygen to feed our own rocket. And then you can output right to here. Now you don't want to do, you don't want this connected when you're out in space because it'll just dump out into space. You've got to make sure you disconnect that when you're flying, but once you land someplace, you no know, debug mode problem. Once you land someplace, boom, disconnect or reconnect that. This will be pumping out oxygen and hydrogen. Hydrogen filters to here. Oxygen gets pumped into the tank, which I believe is, yep, yeah, this one. So we got oxygen and hydrogen, and then we got a liquid tank. So to get liquid into this tank, you can either use the liquid port loader or you can use a liquid input filter. So that's just kind of up to you whether you want to use the liquid input or I'm use, I've got the liquid output to grab from the storage. So nice simple system. Always see with this size pump, you can only run five dupes total because the most you can get is 500 grams. And then this pumps out. 800 so you can get a bit more but really you run out of what this pump can pump into the pipe but while it's flying it fills up your oxygen tank and you get more out of it so there's a little self-powered oxygen module with the bed the rocket control station i mean you get no room bonus the dupe will be very unhappy in here but if all you got to do is fly them and then have them pop over to the three or four dupe one, you're good to go. So thank you all very much for watching. Thank you for all the wonderful comments and the suggestion for this tech tip video. Obviously, if you have any questions, let me know.
But yeah, I think these designs have worked out quite well for me. I don't use the four as much just because I like sending two rockets. I either want two landing modules or two rover modules. So I'm usually sending two rockets any place, but there you go. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. I hope hopefully you're out enjoying playing the game. And if you have any suggestions for other tech tip videos, be sure to let me know. I hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time.